The Union Pacific Big Boy Locomotive, born in the United States of America, is arguably the biggest, the best and the most powerful steam locomotive ever built and run in the world. Whether sitting in the roundhouse at Cheyenne, Wyoming, or hauling hundreds of freight wagons up the Sherman Hill, it was a sight only appreciated in person. But here in New Zealand, the model engineering community was able to experience its own slice of that marvellous engineering with the X Tom Miller Big Boy number 4005. The Tom Miller Big Boy, originally built in the early 1980s in the United Kingdom, is now owned by Shane Marshall in Tauranga, New Zealand, along with 17 scale freight wagons from the Tom Miller estate. On November 10th at the Tauranga Model Marine and Engineering Club, the Big Boy and all freight cars re-gauged to 7 and a quarter inch gauge were brought down the track for the club's 2018 Open Weekend to be run for a few laps around the track, showing off the success of getting it from the state of Oregon to Tauranga, New Zealand. The Union Pacific Big Boy 4005 is a 4884 locomotive now running on the 7 and a quarter inch gauge common in New Zealand. The level of detail is immaculate, from the air-operated bell on the front of the locomotive to air-operated shutters on each side of the two stacks, to the immaculate cab layout featuring all important controls. The locomotive burns diesel, meaning the driver has a challenging job of managing the flow of diesel, the atomizer and the overall burn quality to get the best fire and the best steaming outcome. But it's also cleaner than burning coal and it's a much more efficient solution for the massive firebox. The morning began in the yard with smaller jobs like reconnecting oil, fuel and water lines from the tender and filling water to the boiler followed by diesel to the tender. Using a gas torch this allowed the fire to be started much easier inside the firebox to allow faster and more efficient warming and easier lighting of the diesel flame. Once lit, a thick plume of black smoke rises from the stacks before fading away to smoke-free burning once the correct mix has been achieved. From here, steam is raised slowly but surely until the safety valves lift and all auxiliaries like air pumps and injectors are tested. The safety valves have proved troublesome after much work was undertaken by Shane to reverse engineer the boiler for appropriate certification and operate in New Zealand. But with everything in good working order, the locomotive and its first rake of wagons departed from the yard for the first run around the track.
Later in the day, the full set of 17 wagons completed with caboose was attached and the train went around the viaduct loop, which features a 1 in 55 gradient climb, stretching to the 50 metre line viaduct passing over the station and yard areas. It made for a great sight climbing the grade. At the end of the day, Big Boy pulled into the yard and began the process of uncoupling its rolling stock and shutting down the fire. With a total of four blowdown valves, it's quite a sight seeing this machine let off some steam. Finally, Shane is seen adding some oil into the pipelines to the cylinders to prevent any unnecessary seizing or damage while moved from cold or in storage. This is done by removing a small nut from each steam delivery pipe for the front and rear set of drivers. A further three to five hours would be spent the next day cleaning and oiling parts like air pumps to ensure they do not seize either. 
Even in its scaled down size, the big boy has shown its impressive power and the immaculate engineering of its maker has gone a long way into making this locomotive one of the best in New Zealand and in the world. Kunos goes to Shane Marshall and his amazing working team who managed to bring this American engine to New Zealand's spec and keep its glamour and authenticity intact. It's been a pleasure to witness this machine running and hopefully it will continue to do so for many years to come around the country.